The first thing we're going to do is grab our wedge plate and our 2x2 two two plate and put them together like this. And then that's what it looks like underneath. And here we've got that little overhang from the 2x2 two two plate. We're going to get our 1x1 one one plates with the side thick ring and put those on top. Now, once we have those laid out, we get a 1x2 jumper plate and put it on top of those ring plates. And on top of that jumper plate, we're going to get our black translucent slope to create the cockpit of our A-wing fighter. And now on the front here, we're going to get our two 1x2 tile pieces and put them across the top. And the reason we do this is instead of using a 2x2 two two tile is because if you look at the A-wing fighter, there's like a ridge on the top of the ship. And that kind of that, that crease there kind of makes that illusion. So I really like that appearance. And last, we're going to get these 1x2 jumper plates and put them on as our back fins or wings. And the reason you have to use the jumper plates, they've got that nice little notch underneath. So you can just put that notch into the thick ring um, of the tile piece. And if you use a just a plain tile, unfortunately it doesn't stay in and so it slides up and down. But if you use a jumper plate, it's secure in there. And so you just do that twice with that notch going into the thick ring. And now we've got an A-wing fighter. The first thing we're gonna do is grab this one by two brick with studs on both sides. And the reason it has studs on both sides is because we're next gonna get this one by two plate with clip on top, and we're gonna put it on the side of that one by two brick. And we're gonna do that two times so that those clips are facing the same way, and that's gonna be the back of our A-wing fighter. Now, once we've got those on, we're gonna to go to these slope pieces, these three by one slope pieces with a notch in the back. Well, on the front of that slope piece, we're gonna get a one by one plate and just put it right there on top of our slope. And we're gonna do that two times. So you've got another slope piece, another plate, putting it on like that. Now, behind that plate, I'm gonna get a one by one brick with studs on two sides. And we're gonna put one of those studs next to that plate. Now that we've got this side of our A-wing fighter complete, we're gonna grab our body again. And now remember those clips are in the back and we're gonna put it so that that last stud, the notch in our slope goes right there on that stud on our plate. And now we're gonna do it with both sides. So here's that one by one plate. It's gonna go right there next to our one by one brick and then attach to our one by two plate with clip like that. And so here's the front of our A-wing fighter. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a one by one translucent black plate and put it on the back here. So one by one translucent black plate on the back. After that, we're going to get a one by one translucent black tile piece and put it right on top of that plate we just put on. So you can kind of see the cockpit of our A-wing fighter coming to life. Now on top of the next brick, this next white stud, we're going to get a one by one sloped cheese wedge slice and put it right there on that white stud. And that is going to give us the front of our A-Wing pilot's cockpit. Now to create the wings or the back fins of the A-Wing, we're going to get these one by two plates with closed handles and we're going to just snap them on like this so the studs are facing out and do that two times. And here we have an A-Wing fighter ready to take on a Super Star Destroyer. The first piece we're gonna need is this little wedge plate. And you'll notice a little notch in the back of the wedge plate. So what we're gonna do is get another one by two plate and just put it in there to kind of fill in the gap. And then across the back, we're gonna get a two by four plate. And that just makes the bottom of our A-wing fighter. Now to hold these pieces together, we're gonna to get a two by three brick and just, or plate, and then just put it across the center there, this middle three studs and just, holds it together. So now our starfighter is going to stay together. And to finish off the top and give some color, we're going to get a one by two tile piece and just put it across the front of that two by three plate. And we're going to do that two times. And then the back of that two by three plate, we're going to get a one by two jumper plate and just put that across the back. Now to finish off the bow of our A-wing fighter, we're gonna get some slope pieces with four slots. And you're just gonna put them on those top studs there like that. And once we have that, the front of our A-wing fighter is complete. 
Now the next thing we're going to use are a lot of these or four of these one by one plates with clip rings on top. And you're going to put two in the back right here and then two on the back but facing out to the side. And once we have those in, we're going to get a one by two jumper plate to secure the back two. And on the side over here, just to um, give it more stability and also just look sleeker and fast like the A-Wing fighter, we're going to get a one by one slope piece and put it so that it slopes down from the cockpit to the bottom of the ship. So let's put that on both sides in front of those one by one ring clips. And now we're gonna get our cockpit piece. And our cockpit piece is just this little tooth. And we put that tooth on the red jumper plate. And on this white jumper plate, to give it some length and depth, we're gonna put a one by one tile piece. And so that's how the top of our A-Wing fighter should look. Now, these side clips, we're gonna get these joysticks and they should have the white base and black handle and just put them on the side here and those are going to be our laser cannons so those are going to act as the laser cannons to our a-wing fighter and as luck would have it a plane just flew overhead to create the a-wing fighter sound effect now for the back fin wings they're going to end up looking like this and i'm going to show you how to build this but i just want to show you how to attach it first what you do is there's that little groove there between the two bottom the bottom of the two studs you just put the clip in like that and that's how the back fin attaches to our a-wing now to build that fin what we're going to do is get a two by three plate and across the center we're going to put a red one by two plate and then once we have that one by two plate we're going to get one of these uh, minifigure neck brackets and just put it across the back of the red plate so you attach it like there and then in the back to create the engines we're going to get a round translucent yellow plate and just stick it on the end of that backpack minifigure backpack bracket and now attach it to the back just like we did the other one and we have a completed A-Wing fighter ready to take on the Imperial Fleet or a Super Star Destroyer. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.